Hi guys, it's Matt again, and here I am doing a slightly different review to uh, my normal one, which is a blaster or uh, a mod, and I'll be reviewing the Nerf Tech Target, which I purchased for the princely sum of nineteen pound ninety nine. I'm actually quite impressed with it. Um, it has a small instruction leaflet, which it is useful. It does actually, it is one of those manuals you should read because it tells you the different modes and different settings. Um, the tech target itself does have a hanging hook which I use on my wall. It also has some little screw ports so you can affix it more solidly but I just use a picture hanger and hang it on that and it works perfectly fine. Um, if you don't want to permanently attach it it does have a little uh, leg thing that you can alter the angle of so you can have it straight up or there's a number of grooves so if you want it at a different angle you can change the angle slightly so you can go as far as that um is that the last notch yeah so you can have it there or basically vertical um i had been looking for a decent target um just to play with and saw this and it was on click and collect on ebay so i paid for it and picked it up about an hour later, even though it was ready for delivery, well, ready for collection within 15 minutes. Um, it does require three um, AA batteries, which, thankfully, I happen to have due to the power of the gods and or my battery box. Um, I do have three fresh energizers. And those quite happily pop in there. Pop your little door on. And then... Doop -doop -doop. Oh. Screw up, turn the screw. Okay. There's an on and off switch on the back as well as a speaker. Um, I have seen other targets that are available um, online. Um, some of them are more geared towards airsoft and, and things like that. But for the price, it's, it's not bad. And it does come with as you'll find in the instruction manual, um, three different game modes, which can be one or two player. And there are a pair of LEDs here to indicate player one or player two. Um, so if we power it up, we get an irritating noise. We can get rid of that. So, there are three different types of game mode. The first mode being, um, you have seven shots. And within those seven shots, you have as much time as you want to take. And you've got seven shots to score the highest you possibly can. The outer ring being worth 10 per tab, which gives a nice... Satisfying click when you hit them. 
the two in a, in a ring, they give you 20 points each. And if you're incredibly lucky, due to the inaccuracy of Nerf blasters, um, if you are more than three feet away and you hit the center, that's worth 50. Um, let's say I've yet to hit the 50 at um, seven meters or 10 yards-ish. Um, Mode one, yeah, is how many can you um, score with seven shots? Mode two, uh, if I've actually used it, is speed breaker. You have to hit the highest score you possibly can within a 30 second time limit. Um, as soon as you hit the selection button to select mode two, um, press mode and you can switch between different game types. One is the seven shot. Two is the speed break where you've got to hit as many uh, as high a score as you can within 30 seconds and the other one is accuracy blast mode which is a bit like um if you've ever played darts or something similar it'll light up a panel and you have to hit that panel if you miss you, I think it gives you about three seconds to hit that panel. If you miss, then you lose points. If you hit it, then it'll switch to another panel until you've completed every single one. You get the outside ring first, then those two, then the final one, you have to hit the ball. Um, and it gives you three seconds. Um, it is multiplayer, which is cool. So you and a friend can, can play together. Um, so if we select that one, mode three, which is the accuracy, and then we can choose whether we want with the mode button, one or two player, and then press select to start. And you've got to hit it in time. And if you get them all, you get a little light show and a sound. Awesome. Um, if you go for the um, speed, uh, the point counter, and select that one, select single player for that, it'll give you a countdown of three seconds, and it says player one, and then you get you get seven shots, And they make a different sound depending on where you hit. And that should leave me with one shot left and we'll go with Bull again. And that gives me a final score of 210 points, which is good I assume from seven shots. Um if you do miss at all in those seven shots, it doesn't actually count. Um, so as long as the seven shots hit the target anywhere, it'll score them. If you miss, that's cool. You can always uh, try again. Um, if you do require multiplayer,
There's the single player version and you can have it on two player now. So player one. Oh, I've got 130. Now it switches the blue LED to player two, and it'll show on the LCD display. The it's player two. And it shows that player one won with 130, whereas player two only got 100. And it'll show you'll switch between those to the new final score 130 for player 1 100 for player 2 instead of just shooting at cups or um, the Chinese one that I saw that was where you have to knock the little targets in and they flipped up, flip up and you get the obnoxious sounds. This still has this, the obnoxious sounds by the way, as you heard, but it's more it's more fun. It, it, it actually has a little bit more to it, so I would say it is, it is worth it. Um, for the different game types, um, if you are bored at home and you just want to blink and practice and see how your blaster performs um i have tried it with um both standard and modded blasters i've used my hammer shot i've used my rough cut um i've used my double strike um and it's i've also used rival blasters with it uh, one thing I did notice was if you use any Mega Blasters, sometimes the dart head being so large will hit two panels at once. And I've managed to get all seven shots with three shots out of my Cyclone Shock. So, yeah, that's kind of strange, but it, it still works. It's still good. Um, for the price of 20 English pounds, I don't really think you can go wrong. It is, it feels solid. The pads are nice and tactile. It's got, look, they are irritating sound effects, but they're not as irritating as the cheap Chinese one. Um, It's it's a, it's a good target. It's good for fun, just to just to plink around the house with. Um, like I said, I hang mine on my on my wall, and I can take it anywhere. I could put it in the kitchen and put it on the kitchen table and 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 shoot there, or, or take it, carry it around with me, put it in a bag, and whenever I want to use it, switch it on. And then switch it off when the annoying music comes on. Um, but yeah, if you are in the market for something like this and this sort of thing interests you, um, some sort of reactive target, then I would definitely recommend this over the one with the little flip up um, targets that you have to knock all of them down before they reset. Um, as this is better build quality, um, it feels a lot more solid and it looks, it doesn't look as cheap. Um, and for 20 pounds, it, it, it's, it isn't cheap really. Um, but on the plus side, you can hang it, 
on the wall. You can stand it up. You've got three different types of game. It's got an LCD display and you've got multiplayer. It's rather than just shooting at each other, it's good fun. Um, so yeah, I, I do recommend these. They are, if you are in the market for a target or if you just want something that you can practice and plink around with, um, then I, I highly recommend one of these. They're, they're great um, and a lot of fun. And that will be hung straight back on my wall in a few moments after I've finished editing the video. Um, I would like to give a shout out to some of my friends. Um, Project Nerf, Chris, he's an absolutely awesome guy, you should check him out. As well as Broke Nerfing, Jason, he's a wonderful guy and we're also very good friends. Um, Captain Xavier, everybody knows Captain Xavier. So, and um, Mongoose Jake, who is also great. Um, and I suggest you check them out on YouTube if you have the time and if it's if it's your kind of thing. Um, we're not so mainstream. We're we're more like the average guy we 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 pay for our own blasters we buy our own stuff and we have to be careful with what we buy because we can't afford all the freebies and to have a hissy fit and throw a blaster across the room because it doesn't perform the way we want it to um so yeah we we do have to research our stuff and and look at it and try it out and give you an honest opinion as a buyer um so yeah that's my overview of the nerf digital target it's recommended by me i'll leave info in the show me more section and if you would like to and you want to hear more or see more videos, mods, um, reviews, whatever I come up with, any suggestions, stick them in the comments. Um, please keep it clean. It's a family channel. I want it be. I want it to be available for people of all ages to watch. Um, so I'd appreciate if you, you know, there was no bad language and, and things like that. Um, it's been an incredibly warm day here in the UK, which is why I'm very unsuitably dressed. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see, please subscribe at the bottom um, and like. And if you want to see some more um, videos, and when I get around to editing and releasing them, uh, you'll be the first to, to know if you hit the bell icon as well. Um, yeah, so that's been me and the Nerf Digital Target. If you're interested, go take a look. They're good. Otherwise, have a great day, night, evening whatever it is where you are and um, take care of yourself and each other have fun guys that's what it's all about take care bye bye